you know, I, I think that the first piece that I might lovingly and gently say to you to look at in the context of fear, and this isn't always easy, but is there something you need to do for yourself? Extra sleep, walking, going outside, breathing, meditating, getting onto a habit of some kind, making sure you're drinking enough water, making sure you're eating well. I know this sounds really rudimentary, but sometimes when we spin out into fear, we forget to do this, the most important, simple things that we need to do just to take care of ourselves. The second thing that I would recommend that you do, join us there and do some tapping along with us using EFT and um, the resiliency keys. I think that's a great piece for you to do. I don't want you to not acknowledge your fear. I think, you know, there, there's a lot of, I don't want to use the word bypassing because I think this is a word that's also starting to get really weirdly overused. And the other one is like toxic positivity. Um, I am not saying to deny your fear, to not look at it. You know, I, I think that when we resist it or we try to make ourselves wrong, particularly I think in our community for having fear, that it makes it worse, not better. So I certainly would allow yourself to sit with it for a little bit and talk to it. Ask your fear. What are you, what are you trying to tell me? Fear is a signal. It's a signal that comes from the spleen. And the signal from the spleen is usually giving us information about our survival. And sometimes because we're a little bit more complex than basic animals, our, you know, our, um, our response mechanisms and our instinctive responses can be very complex and sometimes, um, yeah, it's just very complex. It's just a good word for it. So I would encourage you to just really sit down and talk to your fear and ask it, what is it trying to tell you? What is it trying to protect you from? And what do you need to know so that you can leverage it and not be paralyzed by it? And see if talking to it doesn't help. And as I said, make sure you tend to the basics. The truth is, I think, we'd be lying if we didn't say this wasn't on some level a scary time. It's been a scary time. There's a lot of things coming at us. And it's very, very normal for us to be looking at it and going, what's happening? What's next? How, how is it going to play out? You know, I think we've all, maybe many of us have made decisions this year that we normally would never have made because of fear. And sometimes that fear is important. It's protecting us. It's causing us to pay attention so that we do do the things we need to do to make sure we stay safe and aligned. That's not wrong. Walking around and pretending like nothing bad is happening and only visualizing the happy outcome and ignoring the signals, the very real signals that maybe there's some action we need to take to preserve our lives so that we can be okay and continue is, is normal and it's healthy. Your life is very precious and it deserves to be protected. And that's not just about staying alive. It's about staying abundant. You deserve to stay abundant. So um, start with those things. And certainly I would say, you know, reach out, certainly reach out to us if you get stuck and you need extra support, please reach out to us and we'll see where we can plug you in and get some support for you.